So I remember where we're going. We're going to Washington DC to see Come From Away at the Ford's Theater. So hopefully I can reconnect with the cast and creative team and see a great show in a historic venue. Okay, so here are spoils from Roy Rogers. We have the classic mashed potatoes and gravy. We have three pieces of fried chicken. We have like a coconut water latte thing. Some potato wedges, some mac and cheese, some ketchup. There's Dan. It's Roy Rogers. Dan does not understand my love for Roy Rogers. So we always like getting gas in Jersey because not only are the prices cheap, it's also illegal to pump your own gas here, which is very important because sometimes it's cold outside and you don't want to get out of your car. Plus they clean your windshield. It's great. We like it. All right, so it's raining now, which is something that we knew about in the forecast, um, which sucks because we won't be able to do anything like outside really. So when we're in the car, Dan loves listening to NPR, which I personally Parking here is hard, apparently, even on a rainy day, on like a random Tuesday at the end of September. It's, it's, it's hard. Wednesday. Oh, it's Wednesday. On a Wednesday in September. Okay, so we finally um, found parking downtown, which took way too long, but we did it. Um, weather's not bad right now. It's definitely overcast and it will rain again, but right now we're okay. Um, the only thing we've learned about DC so far is that the historic stuff is cool. Just like what you see on TV or movie, and um, their parking meters here suck. Yo, this place is expensive, man. There's like a helicopter in the lobby. That's awesome. Say hi. If it's, if it's a news helicopter, you call it chopper. <laughs> okay, we're entering. This is a very big elevator. Like, we could have used this when we were moving into our apartment. Big. The chunk of the Berlin Wall here which you're not allowed to touch for obvious reasons. Alright, so they say this is supposed to be the best view in Washington, D.C. and you can already see the Capitol out that window there, so 
That may be accurate. Let's go out and check it out. All right, so yeah, it's kind of cloudy, so it's hard to see a bit, but there's the Capitol building. This is Pennsylvania Avenue here. Um, right next to us, that's the Canadian Embassy. So wow, nice view. Oh, I think back there, let's see if I can zoom up on it. I think that might be the White House, I think. I think, if you see like that little tiny patch of trees and that vague White House look. Is that the White House there? Where? Like all the way back in those trees? Is that it? No, that can't no, be it. That's the Capitol, I think that's the Supreme, Supreme Court. Supreme Court, okay, okay, cool. So that's not the White House, but, but cool. Um, you can see some other stuff. I don't know what this is across here, um, but it's nice. If you can see here, that's that castle thing. That's a Smithsonian that we passed earlier. And then we have all sorts of other government buildings lining Pennsylvania Avenue here. It is, it is cool. Hi, there it is. That's the Capitol. That's the place where they're not doing anything. All right, this is a 9-11 exhibit here, and this is one of the um, the broadcast antennas that used to sit on top of one of the towers. I'm not sure which one it was, but yeah, this is um, this is really powerful. Really, really incredible to see this here. This is the original lunch counter from a Woolworths in Greensboro, North Carolina, where several black students did a sit in here. Alright, so this is something I find interesting. This is news and entertainment, and it has a lot of artifacts and information about comedy and news and stuff. Really cool stuff. It's like a weekend update sign from SNL. So this here is a printing press, which is cool, and I feel like all American kids know two things. Number one, Johannes Gutenberg invented the printing press, and Eli Whitney invented the cotton gin, which I don't think American children know what that is anymore. These are kind of cool. FDR actually used these microphones here during his famous fireside chats, so his spit may be on these microphones. Okay, so the camera died, but I have my phone still, so that's okay. Um, so the museum is awesome, and we highly recommend that you visit. Um, it was really cool. It is a pricey museum, especially for Washington, D.C., where a lot of these places are free. Uh, but it was totally worth it. We saw some really cool stuff. Really, really cool. Anyways, I think we're going to head back to the car and track down some dinner. So we'll check it back in with you then.